Hello everyone, my name is Rajesh Kumar and I'm your DevOps SRE DevSecOps coach. I have a uh, close to 18 plus years of experience working uh, in uh, multiple MNSCs around the globe and uh, having in-depth knowledge of DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. Uh, so I would like to introduce you uh, one certification program in a DevOps and that is we, we call it DevOps Certified Professional. Uh, now this is a two months of program, 25 tools uh, of DevOps you will learn. And uh, apart from that, you will also get the access to the LMS, lifetime access to the videos portal. It's a certification program and uh, you will have 25 assignments and two projects along with it. It's a completely weekend program. So here you have uh, classes on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, so as part of this course, you will learn multiple things. Here you see that uh, you will learn Linux, AWS, Docker, Jira, Confluence, Python, Git with GitHub, SonarQ, Maven, Gradle, Packer, Artifactory, Selenium, Jmeter, Ansible, Kubernetes, Helm, Terraform, Jenkins, Datadog, Splunk, and Neuralink. Uh, now, how do we, uh, you know, apply for this? So, how can you reach out to us? So you have a WhatsApp number and email ID. So please uh, reach out to us and we'll help you to onboard this program. Uh, apart from this uh, DevOps certified professional programs, we are offering other certifications as well in a DevSecOps, SRE and uh, one of the very, very comprehensive programs which we have is in, ma is in Master in DevOps Engineering. Yeah, so feel free to get in touch with us and then uh, enroll for it. Thank you. Uh, for the better visualization. So simple thing. As part of the ELBK, uh, ELK, uh, we collect the data from the beats and uh, data, it can be metrics and logs and different types of data, which I talked about it here. And then, but logs, you can send it to last log stash also and for parsing, filtering, transforming. And after that, we want to send to Elasticsearch, which is the last component. Now, Elasticsearch is basically your storage, okay, nothing else but storage. That means all the data which is coming from here, you can store it, okay. So, I will ask in a simple way actually. Uh, have you used any, any database such as MySQL or something like that? You know, I have SQL. You have used, right? What about other people? I have an idea about it, but uh, I haven't worked uh, on database uh, before. Yeah. yeah, so I'll put it in a very simple way. Okay. You have any database, okay? Any database. It's not only large search. Take it in general. So what do you do? So database is for the storage, correct? Now, now what we'll have, let me put it this way, database we have storage and in the database, uh, if you want to store the data, you primarily do the CRUD, correct now? CRUD means create, read, update and delete. Yeah. So that way database is up updated. After doing the CRUD, what you do, you can do the searches also, okay? And in fact, you can do, uh, you know, ranking rules. How I'll, I'll talk about it. Okay. How I'll talk about it. So CRUD you can do to store the data, read the data, update the data and delete the data. You can search also, you can perform and ranking also can be done. So, Normal database ranking is not there, but Elasticsearch is a special kind of database where ranking is there. Okay, searching is also there. In a normal database like MySQL and all, search will not be there, rank will not be there. These two functionality will not be there. Okay, what, what is ranking here? Yeah, I'll tell you. Search using using DSL and a ranking using DSL okay now the question is what is uh, crud you understand that right all of you yeah yeah 
search and ranking we need to understand so first you have to understand what is elastic search so as i said elastic search is not a normal database elastic search you can say is a kind of database i'm just putting up huge cases elastic search is a kind of database which can be used for site searching mind it site caching and site searching for example i'll put it in a very simple way do you know this website flipkart all of yes you? yes uh it's very popular in india right now i'm searching for mobile so see that earlier think simple it was like this the cart is like this and now if if i search remember i'm doing this search okay this search then look at this search is api and query is mobile see that this is the query okay and there are some more options automatically get added by default by the coding and then the results you have it this is the results now how this has but what is using dsl sir what is dsl I'll, 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 I'll talk about it i'll talk about it okay so this is called searching how this has been empowered this search api through elastic search i'll show you one more example it's my blog i'll share with you for for lots of training materials and here i'll search devops devops this is a very simple one not complicated so here s means that's a search and devops query devops so this website search engine also is been empowered by elastic search so what is elastic search so if you want to develop search engine search engine okay mind it google kind of google google is also search engine okay so they have their their own proprietary software but if you want to implement search functionality in your website then this this tool is preferred elastic search so elastic search has not only storage capability but search capability also and ranking capability also ranking i'll talk about in few minutes but did you understand the search that means if any websites want to implement the search functionality for site searches site searches then they use elastic search are you understanding yes sara yes yeah so that's a search functionality so huge cases of elastic search is a lot larger than what we are uh, you know getting trained for uh, i'm teaching you for the infrastructure monitoring basically elk when we say then we focus on the infrastructure monitoring but actually these tools can be used in various other ways also okay so we should know that now ranking so ranking means what let me show you here now if i search for mobile then who will decide this should come up i just search mobile and this should go oh what happened let me close and this uh, somewhere here this should go to the bottom who will decide some factor should be there no correct correct some algorithm should be there who will decide okay. see these all are documents okay this is one document i'll click here this is one document 
this is the another document so like that so which factor which decide the this should display top and this should display down okay which factor so there is a one algorithm okay let me show you elastic search don't search elastic elastic is a company name elastic search ranking algorithm okay and they use uh, just again Mm. Okay, so earlier they were using this algorithm, but I think in the latest one it got changed to BM25. Okay, and did in the document score? Yeah, so this is the algorithm inverse document frequency IDF. Okay, so in simple way we call it a BM25 algorithm. Okay, so you don't need to get into that too much because we are learning for the huge cases, but just for the reference this is the algorithm is being used for ranking okay so now we understand elastic search is not only storage but also giving you the search and ranking capability and that is the reason this tool specifically elastic search is very popular for site searches clear all of you yes but for us you know for us for this session we will be limited uh, to use elastic search for the storing the logs and matrices not more than that okay so that is our huge cases in elk state but programmers and all development they when they do you can use this uh, software for storing the data of the pages which is this one and this one caching the pages which you call it a, which you call it a, uh, see crawler, yeah. So web search component. I'll put it up this one. Uh, I'm not using slides. You can use that. You can refer the slides uh, of the previous session uh, from the LMS. I'll just give you the access. Uh, search component, search engine component. Okay search engine component so there is one component which is see here this is the best one see here. so here if you want to implement the search engine then we need a crawler here spider is your crawl crawler indexer is your elastic search okay indexer is elastic search. spider you can think of something like uh, beats you can say and search query and algorithm. Algorithm just now I talked about it and search query. What is a search query? This is the component which I have not discussed. So these all components will come together and create one tool. So this all these thing you have in the elastic search except the spider. Indexer you have in elastic search. Algorithm is built in and query search. What is a query search? that is where i am talking about the dsl so what is a dsl so dsl we call it dsl stand for domain specific language okay. uh, there are many other definition also is there okay domain specific language that means this uh, okay I'll, I'll put it in this way do you know uh, which query language we used for uh, uh, mysql if you would have any issues with our channel membership you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries we will reply to them at the earliest thanks for watching